Chinese cheap projectors are rather strange. There's not a single flawless among them. This machine is not either, yet I would buy it. In Chinese pronunciation, Gelaipu X5 is the name of this projector, which became a very interesting structure for many reasons. Lately, I tend to skip the unpacking and the looking at accessories from my videos. To reduce the length of the videos a bit, I must deal with this in the case of X5. First of all, I have to deal with it because we get a quite decent bag with the projector. There is a separate part for the projector and a separate part for the accessories. The projector is held in place by Velcro tabs, which is a super thing. The bag has handles so we can take the machine wherever we want. But uh, the interesting things are not over yet because we find something very strange in the box of accessories. A tiny little grey box. This little box is none other than an external TV box. I wondered how strange it is to have an Android projector that is actually not Android. But uh, we will have to connect an external TV box to make it Android. I've never seen anything like this before. Then of course it soon turns out that this is a bit like in the folk tale when the peasant brings a pigeon as a gift to the king. But when it gives it away, it flies away galap, thus fulfilling the wish, that is, it brought a gift and it did not. Well, this, this external tube box is also like this because we have to put it behind a small cover plate to operate this machine. It's not complicated. Remove the cover plate, connect to 2K, snap the box into place and replace the cover. Oops, the external TV box has become an internal TV box. It's certainly not a conventional method. The X5 is just an average desktop projector. Its dimensions are 286 by 251 by 107 millimeters and it weighs 2400 grams. Unfortunately, because of its weight, it can't be placed on a simple tripod. But there are standard threads under the rubber feet, so it has a traditional projector holder. You can even hang it from the platform. The exterior is not too interesting. From the front, the lens is on the left. At the back are the disconnected connectors, such as HDMI, USB, etc. And of course, we have a headphone output too. The buttons are there on the cover, which can be used without a remote control. For the exterior and the included, you still need the bottle opener. I should mention, which is very similar to the remote control given with Xiaomi TV boxes. And not only does it resemble in form, but it's also similar in that this remote control is Bluetooth, which is much better than an infrared solution. After the exterior comes the interior or the abilities. The Galley Blue X5 is a native full HD projector, meaning its real resolution is 1920x180 pixels. You can send a maximum of 4K material to it, it will be able to scale it down to 1080 peaks. Of course, it has a LED light source, it can operate for 30,000 hours, and the projection technology is LCD. The luminous flux is 500NZ, the contrast ratio is 2000 to 1000. The projection size can be between 40 and 150 words. So there is no automatic trapezoid correction on the machine, but there is automatic focus. Now let's get to the important things. The X5 runs on Android 12 based Android TV system. So it's a full-fledged TV interface with full-fledged TV software. Perhaps even more importantly, it has a Netflix certificate and a Widevine initial certification. And it means that we can watch the streaming in full HD resolution. Contents can be projected on this projector. The system is served by a pretty good little hardware the central unit is the Amlogic S905Y2, in which a Mali G31 MP... There are two GPUs. We get two gigs from memory and eight from storage. We have dual channel Wi-Fi. We have Bluetooth 5.2. According to the factory data, the noise of the cooling is 35 decibels, but I measured around 40 from half a meter away. Well, now I think I've said everything about the machine the experiences can come. The assembly is good, the machine material is good, but it is far from premium quality. The setup is simple. I had no problem with the speed of the software. In the case of Xiaomi TV sticks in the 1080p version, we put one gigabyte of RAM in 4K and two gigabytes in this, of course, two gigabytes. 
which is completely enough alongside the 1800 resolution. Although the luminous flux is only 500 ANSI, I felt it was more during use. I tried it projected onto a wall, projected onto a screen. I watched quite a lot of nature films and cinema films. I was more than satisfied with the picture quality. Even in darker surroundings, details weren't lost. And if there was plenty of light, the color feast was dazzling. Brightness is very important, but for me, the presence of this white wine certificate at the beginning is at least as important. Lately, I received two types of projectors. Or there was Widevine L1, but the operating system was Linux. Or there was no Widevine. And the operating system was some kind of Android. For Android, we can install a lot of apps. The gates of streaming providers are also open, but we had to watch movies in SD resolution. In the case of Linux, there was almost no available app, so only Netflix and Amazon Prime were used for streaming. In exchange, at least this came in full HD resolution. So, uh, after a long time, the Galipu X5 is the first projector running a proper Android TV system. Plus, we get full HD resolution when streaming. I think this arsenal is what distinguishes the X5 most from what's available today from the sea of medium or cheap projectors. However, th there are some flaws in this system. For now, I attribute this to the fact that the machine arrived to me before the official presentation. And since then, there have been two major software updates. There is still room for improvement on this software, but hopefully the bugs will be fixed in the final version. One bug is that only the Netflix button works after turning on. You need to start Netflix, then I log out of it. From then on, the remote control also controls the various functions on the Android TV interface. The other flaw is that, although they promised the image size could be halved, for me, 80% is the lower limit. I think this might be more of a software problem than a hardware one. After the first power on, it was noticeable that only the image size can be adjusted, no other settings. Fortunately, with the second software update, there were options available with which we can adjust the brightness, contrast, and saturation. And we also get pre-programmed image modes, sport, cinema, and others. There are no such issues with the sound yet, but there is an option for surround sound settings. So, so I hope the skills can expand here too. List of flower. All in all, apart from minor software errors, the Jelepu X5, a truly excellent projector, the quality of the image matches its category, but in addition, there's the Netflix certificate, there's the Wide Vine All One certification, which also costs the manufacturer money. So, considering the services provided and the quality of the picture, the Gilepu X5 it becomes a really good buy, just slightly over eighty thousand forints. If we add that there is a bag here that comes with it, that's an additional four five thousand forints. Then you can really understand why I said at the beginning of the video. It's not flawless, um, but I would really buy it. If you also liked it, the link will be under the video on YouTube. There will be a coupon code for purchasing. Okay, that's all for now. See you next week. Bye.